It's not a thing. It's the uh, Iranian anthem. Oh. That's what it's called. Oh. The thing. You're the thing. I am the queen. Let's get that right. Fair the fox. That's right. <laughs> Fair of the fox <laughs> with your host, Ali Legend. Another episode of this own. We hope to entertain you guys for the next 35, 40 minutes. If you guys are in traffic, if you guys are at work at lunchtime, whatever it is, you guys are in good hands because, you know, we bring up the most important topics. Yeah. Have you ever been attracted to men? No. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how to answer that, but I was like, no. I can definitely look at a guy and be like, you know, he's good looking, but that doesn't mean I'm attracted to him like that. Like, sometimes I look at a guy, I'm if, like... The ones that are listening, are, they don't see my face. I was stuck on stupid because I know. said it's so soft and gentle. I know, no. I know. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. It's, there's, there's no compliment like a, a compliment you get from a gay guy. Like, when a, when a straight guy gets a compliment from a gay guy, uh. like, then you know you're the shit. Oh, so you've gotten Oh, some. yeah, 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 yeah. Did you just try to do the breast oh, muscle yeah. thing? Like, oh, ear, yeah. ear, oh, ear, yeah. ear, oh, ear, ear, oh, ear. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Damn, it sounds like it's an orgasm going on. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, let's get back to professionalism for two seconds. <laughs> yeah, let's try to be professional. We are though... disowned. <laughs> yes, we are disowned. <laughs> like, subscribe, <laughs> comment. You. Guys, guys, hey, it's free. Free D. Hit the like button. Please. Hit the subscribe button. Why not? <laughs> It's free. PD. Absolutely. I can't with you You're right not going to have to pay. I, told I you mean, to stop drinking. I mean, you know, you 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 pay for by the way, before we I actually want to get into you a see, a old subject. age is mine goes enough. Cuz I have a listen, I have like blah, 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 I have like 10 liquor. different things I've got. No, it's not like this is water. <laughs> I don't drink. I am a devout non-alcoholic. Uh-huh. Um do you like getting massages? Oh my god, I'm going tomorrow. Yeah, I go. I go all the time. Yeah, like I literally have to get two, three a month. Two to three a month. Yeah. I, uh, I guess I get two a month. But I also get two, three. A week at home. Oh, is that right? <laughs> Ooh, yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> um, do you do you believe in and and this is a real honest no, question ahead, shoot okay cuz i know you always bullshit and you always like to weasel your way around the questions that's me but um how do you feel about happy endings for men both we don't get a happy ending where do where, where do women get them cuz i'm signing up see okay so you would be okay with that it depends what what are they going to do to me well, listen you're getting a massage right from head to toe, whatever kind of massage you and want, that's Swedish, a, that's a happy Thai, ending. whatever. They just stick their finger in the snooch. Why do you have to be because so, it's so weird. crass about it? <laughs> it's not even no class when you say, like, they're going to stick my finger in the thing. <laughs> You're going to die when you watch this yourself later? You stick my finger in the well, thing. A woman can't get a happy ending. Okay, okay, close-minded. Of course you can. Okay, what are they going to do? Listen. Let's let's back it up, all right? You mm. you just completely jumped over and went right into this the finger in. in the t- 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 Told you he drank, guys. Listen. You're getting a massage. Whatever okay. it is you're getting, you know, Thai massage, Swedish massage, deep tissue, whatever kind of massage you're getting. Hope you get a massage. Right? Yeah, okay. And then towards the end, mm-hmm. right? 45 minutes, an hour, whatever into it, mm-hmm. okay? Um you're obviously blood flowing, you're hot, you know, and a little bit, you're a little attracted to the guy too, maybe like a little muscular, you know, Chippendale type of guy, you know, mm-hmm. that's massaging you, and he's all up in there, right? Where are those men that are massaging women? I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Well, I mean, I'm kind of down to go to one. I'm just saying. And then suddenly he, re- he you know, he kind of like leans over and he and he asks you, as he goes, ma'am, would you also like a happy ending? Now, at this point, you're going to be like, yes, absolutely. And then he's going to turn around and be like, what would you prefer? And then he's going to show you a little menu. It's going to be like... Sounds like you're trying to open one. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to set up... Because look, here's what I'm getting at, all right? Obviously, you'd be okay with it. You know, No, I would 100%. not be Yes, okay. you would be. I if wouldn't the... be happy with a happy ending with a man I don't know. No, I wouldn't. <sighs> Get out of here. I wouldn't. Yeah, you would. You guys, it's easy. Happy ending is getting jacked off or getting your 
Dick sucked. I, I think I honestly believe that and I have friends and they're they're professional I think you say masseuse, right? Masseurs, masseuse. Masseuse. Um, they're professional, mm -hmm. um, and I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of shit from them about this. But I think if two adults, right, can come to that agreement where it's not, you know, nothing's being forced or nothing is being creepy, whatever, you know, it's like, hey, this is a service I offer, you know, would you like? And then the guy says yes, right? Now, by law, that would be considered prostitution. Yeah, true. You know? which I think is the dumbest law out there for the government to tell me or two consenting adults that, hey, you cannot charge for sex. I think it's because it's a work environment. No, it's not. Even if you invite the person to come to your house. That's different, but I'm saying that's not prostitution. That's by, you said, two adults both No, agreeing. but I'm saying like even, even if that person comes to the house and you exchange money, for any type of oh, sexual yeah, act, yeah, they say it's considered extent. prostitution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, and I think it's just the dumbest law that's out there. Because look, some women are okay with it mm -hmm. by working in like in a in a sex working kind of environment. Right. You know, and look, I mean, not to get too historical, but going back into history, right? Most towns, right? Like, and we're talking about ancient Egypt, yeah. ancient Rome ancient Greece, you know, like ancient times, most towns would have whorehouses. You know, it was a they must. Still do. Yeah, right. But uh, like if you go to Amsterdam, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's very open. You know, if you go to Thailand, Thailand, if you go to Nevada, like some right. places, you know, outside out on the outskirts. <laughs> and it, and you know, the re the reason why back in those days, those types of uh, establishments were necessary is to reduce the chances of rape. You mm, know, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, actually. yeah, because you have you have to. It makes sense in a way. You know, and, and you know you have to understand. You know, th these mm. types of laws have existed, like you know, on the books, like the last eighty years, ninety years, right? right? But before that, you know, when women didn't even have any rights or anything, what? What did you, did you just blow smoke in my face? Okay, this this is shit I'm talking about. See, you go from one place to a whole nother. You know what that means when you blow smoke and stuff. Yeah, I know. Face? That's what I'm saying. Like, what are you what are you trying to tell me? I blew it what up in the air. What are you trying to tell me? You guys saw exactly what she <laughs> Thank did. Thank God for the ones in the car. You did not you, see nothing. You guys saw exactly what she did. <laughs> no, anyway, as soon as I'm what's... talking about whorehouses, she blows smoke in my face. What the? Fuck I don't know. Is wrong I don't know. You? I don't know what that's all about. But anyways, yeah, so it was it was really to prevent rapes because, you know, people, That's were, interesting people would come into a town and imagine like a thousand years ago, <laughs> even here in the old Wild West, we had saloons and burlesque women and that type of because people would come into town and, you know, men, you know, back then there was no such thing as chivalry and, you know, like being like, you know. I, I'm still interested to know what a woman would get as a happy men um, ending on a menu. Would it be like getting eaten out or let me slide the D in or. Yeah, I mean, to me, that's like sex full on. It's not like the same happy ending men get. Well, men get. Well, no, because you know, what if you could actually request that? What if you could be like, you know what, I don't want oral, I don't want actual intercourse, but I would like for you to play with me, with with your hands, you know. And he he being a professional, having done this, he knows exactly how to go about it, you know, hmm. to to get you off. I th I like I said, like I think like these types of laws, these like draconian laws like that, where it's like. No, you cannot do this or you cannot do this. It's like, wait, what? Why? You know, I'm I'm a grown ass man. This is a grown ass female. Right. You know, she wants to provide the service. Now, I get it. I, I and, and again, we're not talking about anything forced. We're not to, talking about any. Let me give you another example. OK, yeah. well, I went to Amsterdam a while ago. OK, how many girls did you sleep with there? Oh, my God. Um, a lot. In one trip? Um, Yes. Six. Um, Fuck more than that. Sit, how many days were you there? I should say. So we were supposed to be there for seven days. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so you had breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Let, let me tell you something. When I got there, uh, with, with and this is back in like two thousand six, I think two thousand six. Okay, this is a while ago. When we got there, um, obviously, you know the wee thing so we're just going crazy over that you know like smoke and the funny thing is you know we go to your hotel room in in the bars that have condoms um no nah, forget that they have bongs and pipes oh, and yeah, things yeah, like yeah. that you know 
So all that stuff, and this is all pre all these like legalization of marijuana, yeah. like you know. So it was kind of like, oh my god, this is so crazy. You know, you go there and all these different, like kind of how the dispensaries are now. They were already like that. Uh -huh. over there. They were like that's where the they, kick, they, that was where the spot was. Yeah, back exactly. Then. So that's how they were. So when we got there, I'm telling you, you know, the women that were working the red light district, okay, are they really in a glass. Absolutely, like they're they're basically like they're rented rooms. Obviously, mm -hmm. you know that's like their work environment, but they're made so that the glass is. Let me just point at the camera. So the glass is very low to the sidewalk, and they do that because obviously they want to show you. Like as you're walking there, you know you see them in lingerie, or a lot of them are like bent over, like you know they're showing like you know the breast assistances, you know like. But they're not full on naked, right. but they're like in lingerie. But let me tell you, and by the way. All of them legally have to have all of their certifications on... Like STD-wise. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like when they were checked, what they were checked for, blood tests, like everything. It's it's, it's very clean. It's very... Yeah, so they say. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, yeah, and, and, and I'm telling you, like, w the whole time my friend and I were talking, we're like, you know, the, none of these women look beat up. None of them look worn out, you know, none of them, like, they're not like the prostitutes, like, you know what I mean, out here where they're just, like, scared for their life because they're oh under the God. thumb of a pimp, yeah. right? So it's a different environment. But out there, it's like, they looked so gorgeous, you know, wow. some of them. I, I, I seriously, I was like, man, like, I, I want to take her back. What was it, like 50 bucks a piece? Back then it was euros. It was like it was it was about fifty five euros, you know. Oh, so that's like thirty bucks. Something like that. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't that expensive. And and let me tell you, like. Damn. So they're getting their shit banged out for thirty dollars by eighty men a night. Yeah, I mean, you 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 do the math. To, you do the math. You know, they're they're do the equivalent of probably like. Ten, twelve men. I mean, depends. You know, like it's your own business. What is it? One hour. Um. No. Until you until you're done. So you're actually telling me it's kind of unlimited. Well, I mean, I'm sure, like, you know, you know if I mean? you're one like, of those, like, if you're one of those horse stallions that goes on for like two, three hours, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I'm not sure how that works, but, but wow. you know, for the most, yeah. And then, and they're like, hey, should I go get my friend and this and that? I mean, it's like that type of environment, you know. So it's not like shady. And, <laughs> and the funny thing actually is, we were sitting at the coffee shop, and we're like, well, you can't be outside. You know, happening? my dog. No, don't worry. I'm not cutting myself. Um, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> yeah, legit. When I just put no, your no, hand my, up, my, like, my dog gets a little crazy. No, but like, you know, I'm I'm legit not outside, but I'm kind of like, well, when I say outside, I'm not on the street, but I'm out in front of the coffee shop. The cop walks up to me, and I was like, I got a little scared. You know, I was like, oh shit, this is it. Yeah, you know, lights up my joint, you know, and he's just like, he's like, hey, you know, do me a favor, you know, where are you from? I was like, we're American. Okay, yeah, you know, you can't be out here. You got to be, you know, in that area. Walking by the prostitutes and everything, you know, like, like, it's all good. You know what I like mean? Like candy so, in a shop. So what I'm getting at is, see, when you're in that type of environment where everything is free and legal mm -hmm. and um, scrutinized by the government, you know, you ain't got to worry about shady behavior. Yeah. You know? The, the you don't have to worry about a pimp you don't have to worry about drug dealers you don't have to worry about you know getting robbed or anything the cops are just like hey it's all good you know like people i mean hey, it's, i just slept with the one in number three three days yeah ago. yeah i'm sure he i'm sure they that he has but i'm saying like here in this country you know like in america mm -hmm. as much as we want to put ourselves at the forefront like we are open-minded but when it comes down to things like that you know it's like we're still living in like 1845 yeah you know, it's like, you know, I, I go and get massages all the time, you know, and daddy gets a happy ending. Where do they have the happy uh, ending? I, I cannot expose the locations. Right, obviously. You know, like, but there's, they're, they're absolutely out there. Um, it's a lot of these Asian of uh, massage places, you know. And, uh, yeah, you know, and, and for me personally, it's like, yeah. What I, type of happy ending do you get? Oh, uh, you know, like they, they, they tug on the, they tug on the, <laughs> they tug on the rug a little bit, you know. Um, That's it? Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm in there to be full on freed, relaxed, you know, from head to toe, you Literally. know. But I mean, they I mean, this one specific place I go to, they know me, you know, so I have my regular women, you know, like uh 
Usually I have two of them at the same time servicing. I thought me. you don't like two women at the same time. No, no, no. They're not like we're not having sex, you know. But it's just like, you know, one is like, you know, uh, on the upper body, the other one is on the lower body. Because I go in for like an hour and a half, you know. Yeah, I need yeah, yeah. 90, 90 minutes. And let me tell you, like they actually massage. They put in work. They put in work, you know. Um, you know, cause daddy is a little thick. And so it's like, you know, sometimes they you guys love how he calls himself daddy. Yeah, of course. Daddy's a little thick and, um, you know, so they need to get in there. But all in all, I, I, th I just think to myself, I'm like, you know, this, this whole idea of this act being illegal, you know, ridiculous. The fact that women, you know, cannot ask for that, or I'm sure there is some guy out there mm. that has you know his own clientele and for sure and i'm sure you know we just haven't heard about 90 percent of personal trainers are like that oh yeah dude personal uh, trainers let me get tell all you i just ass. met one they don't make any money but they get all crazy. the ass yeah personal trainers come off like that too like they try to act like they really trying to be your personal trainer i literally just met one and i, I was like okay cool and then when i was told okay so do you want to do this and this and this and that and then when they came out to the personal trainer saying, I got you for free, I was like, mm -hmm. But if your personal trainer is good looking, would you? Uh, compliments. He's fine as shit, actually. Man, he, so just, why won't he you? just subscribed yesterday, too. So why won't you so bang what do you your mean? personal trainer? Huh? No, no. Why not? How is he going to be my personal trainer after that? What? But see, this is the problem see, with you women. Like, look, you look, guys look, get look. all emotional see, about it. See, that's the thing. I'd rather have a personal no trainer to get me right than have someone that get me right and hopefully get me right again because it might not work out. <laughs> and then now I'm missing out on getting right right. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm just saying, like, you know, he, he works you out. And then afterwards, you know, he, he glazes your donuts. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, and... And then afterwards, you know what I mean? Like, you guys see each other at the gym again. But literally, that's what I, like, I just met this person. And it was just funny because it went from, like, hey, so this is what I do and this is what it is. And you could tell by his body and everything because he has a really good body. And when as soon, yeah. <laughs> as soon as. If you're watching or listening. I'm sure he is. And then as soon as. Make her touch it. Shut up. And then as soon as he's like, oh, don't worry, I got you. You don't have to pay. Just show up. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, mm. Okay. All right. I caught on to what time it was. I'm not dumb. Wow, you, I'm you, not you, dumb. You, you sound like you you really sound like that I'm, middle aged aunt. So be it. So it's be like, it. I caught on to him. I knew that he was I gonna try to do something. I love the people in traffic listening to Bugs Bunny. I, I, what voice I, is this? I know. I know what he was trying to do. That, I'm just saying, you guys get your happy ending with massage places, but for women, and this wasn't the first personal trainer that tried to do this to me because I actually did go to one one time two years ago. You actually got down with him. I didn't hook up with him. I went. I went to actually work out. I actually went to go do the training. Boring and story. And the second training, he's like, "Want to go out for a drink?" We did. We all went out, and it was a group. Did you setting. hook up with him? No. But Boring what I'm saying story. is, again, that one was trying to bone too. Well, well, why not? I just don't want to mix business with pleasure. It ain't that big of a deal of a business. It ain't like you're like invested. Like, hey man, I got money on this. You know, like <sighs> it's like who cares? Like, let's just say it doesn't work out. All right, cool, man. There's like a dime a dozen other you know personal trainers that are all trying to fuck still. Yeah, but you know the women personal trainers are not like that. At all. They're professional. They're actually professional, which is so lame, dude. You're so good looking, looking all juicy, and you know? And them tights. And them tight-ass leggings, you know what I mean? Like, just looking all cute and perky. And plump. And plump, you know? So it's like daddy naturally is going to want to, like, you know, put on some weight and, like, you know what I mean? Push some weight. But then it's like you try to push some weight on, yeah. And then you try to talk to them, and it's like, oh no, no, I'm so they they, they have that attitude. Where they it's do. Like, the women do. The yeah, women a lot do. of the women are like but that. But the men that I've came across, it seems like, oh, okay, this is gonna be dope. He really said he got me, and two hours passes, and then motherfuckers is talking about. So you want to go out to have a drink? Yeah, yeah, I would too. Yo, can I first try your workout? Yeah, I mean, look. I I just it, it's the same kind. Of, I mean, I know we're joking about it, but I feel like it's the same type of situation when two adults, <sighs> right, are are trying to basically negotiate terms and conditions. I'll work you out and you give me cooch. Would that be that bad? I mean, personal trainers are expensive. No, I'm just kidding. 
<laughs> I'm telling you. Like, like, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. I'm if so you can, dead. if you can use your vagina like a credit card, like I would everywhere do it. you you wouldn't. I wouldn't do it. Like, if you would, like, hey, let me get the Starbucks. All right, come on, let me, you know, this. Let me get this. Let me, you know, like, cause some women do that. I mean, yeah, and they get their titties paid for, their BBL paid for, they get their Chanel bags, they get their Louis bags, they get their, they get designer shit. Yes, they do do that. Some of them even go out for sushi for 100 bucks. Yes, they do do that. Okay, so let me ask you something. Since, since you have such boring-ass high standards, okay? I, I don't. That's when, a, I date the ghettoest dudes in the world, man. Are you kidding me? But, but let me ask you something. So I want to know at what point, guys, pay attention, because I'm Please asking do. the questions you want to ask. My telephone number at, is 999, never mind. <laughs> at what point do you actually just step on your standards and you're like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go for it. Like what what would have to happen? Uh, I okay, so recently at where I'm at right now, it's not about physical attraction to me. It's make me laugh. Like I like if, then you might get some, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying I want someone that's funny, someone that's like you know I connect with. Like I don't care what you look like cuz looks dies. As long as we can connect and laugh together until our stomach hurts. I'm All right, I'm, let's let's not get carried away. He's not going to be that funny. You but I'm are? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> just kidding. Ladies and gentlemen. I'll give you guys a little entertainment today. I, you know, I'm kidding, guys. She, He's like my she brother. She blew smoke in my face. Now she's telling me this. Keep going, Farrah. What do you really want to tell you me? Ready, ready. All right, guys. The pinky's <laughs> a little bit better today. No, I'm just playing. No, but seriously, I like someone that has sense of humor. I have someone that has, you know, a good personality. Okay, listen. I'm just saying. He could be toothless. What? I'm just kidding. Would you really? Oh my God! Would you uh, like? Okay, let's. What? What is like? What? At what point were you like? Oh no, I can't. Like physically, because I know you're like you're not into the physical. One but of the main things that bugs me the most is because of things that I've actually went through in my past. Like I was mentioning, I can't do someone that's overly aggressive that is controlling because it's. I, okay, I, I'm not talking about personality. I'm talking about like physical features. Like, what is the one thing you're like? Oh hell no. Nose throws me off. Like, if it's gigantic. Yeah, it, like bony, skinny, mm -hmm. that. And the way they talk. Oh, wait, so that's if he's physically. toothless, you're, you're good no, with no, that? No, 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 no. I'm not going for nothing. What about homeless, bald? God forgive me. Um, If it goes with him all day, yeah, I'm for it. No, if but it he, he's not him. like all the way bald, like. Oh, semi? No, I can't He has like a horseshoe. He has like the horseshoe. No, 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 no. Or he has like <laughs> She wasn't ready. Ow. No, I can't do it. You can't? No, no. I can't. I, no. Receiving what airline if, okay. situation? What What if he... What, well, s s listen, like, you know, <laughs> I, I got one, but, but you know... You still have a set of hair, though. I do. And knock on wood. Knock, 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 knock. Um, But listen, like, I'm, overall, though, overall... Cause you, cause the way you come across, you're like, look, if it's a personal trainer, good looking guy, and you know he wants to hit it, you would say no. I just my okay. See, everyone's been asking me this question, and you know what you're bringing up right now has been something that I've been attacked with the last three, four days. Keep attacking her, guys. You no, know, because it's kind of like, it's not all about sex twenty four seven. Like I, being at my age, like I kind of want a connection. Like sex is everywhere. You can get it anywhere for free. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. What guy wouldn't want to, like, I'm sorry, I'm a good looking girl. I admit, I think I am. But I cannot just be like, oh, okay, I just met you. You're cute as shit. So let me spread my legs real quick. Because that's all they want, anyways. So what mm -hmm. is that going to do for me? I see. So you, you, you want that emotional. I, I'm done with the bullshit. Like, uh, we've had our fun and time and uh, grown. I'm too grown for that shit right now. And with everything that's going on, I really do feel like when you sleep with somebody, you're giving a part of yourself to them. Like, you are really honestly, like they say, like, when you sleep with someone, um, there's, see, I was just saying it to my friend yesterday. You're something about energy. It's probably bullshit. Energy. That's why, that's no, why you you're forgot. you're exchanging energy. So, it's a, see you don't care because you're disconnected and you'll sleep with anything probably. Um. <laughs> yeah, that part. See, and I I don't want to feel like. Why do that. you think Daddy looks so young? <laughs> I don't want to go home and be like, oh, I just you know hooked up with so and so and that was it. If that's the case, then I'll go home. When's your birthday? I'm a Cancer sign. Whoop whoop. So you're July. We're freaky fucks. No, pff, get yes, out we of are. Here. Yes, we Scorpio are. all day. Okay, yeah, but yeah, trust. <laughs> <laughs> Who's freakier, guys? Cancers are well. They're obviously Scorpios are well known, but trust guys, I, I, I'm gonna put up a poll about is. this. Cancer women know what time. Who it is. is freakier all the way around, Scorpio 
or cancer. <laughs> cancer. <laughs> Get out of here, Hey, man. hey, hey, listen. Bring it down three notches. Cancer women are very, very, very freaky. I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, Scorpios, Scorpios will make you scream for your mama. Men and women. How I'll many have screamed for their mama? Mm. So July? <laughs> yeah, July 1st. July 1st? Oh, July 1st. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you just turned 40. Not that long ago. I am not 40, but we're going to let him say I am. Wait, you're not? No. Wait, I, th I thought you were. You're such a fucking prick. <laughs> I see. Ow, my pinky. Uh, was that the scary hand? <laughs> For the one, you asshole. Yes, it is. <laughs> Fuck, I got to put a cast when I come around you. I mean, the little thingamajiggy. <laughs> I am not 40, and um, my finger is still broken, and I wish you would say I'm 40 one more time. Tuning back in. But well, I, I, so you're not. No. Okay. So you're what, 39? Almost. In a year. No, I'm just kidding. I'm 39. You're 39? Sure am. Okay. You're, you're knocking on 40's door. Listen, it's going to be a celebration. Nice. Am what, I invited? What, what, are you kidding me? Because uh, you never invite me. You're a full of shit. You didn't show you up. You never the last invite invitation. me. For, uh, for everybody that wonders, uh, Farrah okay, never minute. invites Did you show me to, to my anything. mother's birthday? That was last minute. You called me like five minutes before the Two actual event. Two months in advance. Look and at the <laughs> smirk on this guy's face. <laughs> and the you lies. Were like, Did you, you were... guys just see the last episode, which was last week, or it's up? It's coming out. We were talking about how men lie, even if they get caught, even if they're, even if I have a message in my text is saying, "Can you speak your lies into the microphone?" Yeah, yeah. Let please. me speak your lies and my truth. So he, this guy's trying to say I didn't invite him to my mom's birthday. It was last minute. I have proof because text messages clearly show that he was invited two months in advance never i don't know i don't know who you were texting yep, typical it man me. no it wasn't typical me man. it wasn't me wasn't me caught him in the kitchen counter what are you gonna do for your birthday next year something are you are you actually yeah, I'm gonna hook gonna up with your something. personal trainer do you have a picture of your personal trainer what do you have a picture of your personal trainer I'll, I'll tell you right now if he has a chance with you or not let me see a picture of him <sighs> Guys, I'm, I'm about to uh, see a picture. Don't say names, okay? I'm not going to say names, but we're going to, because there's an audience also that might not be watching, so let me see. Um, yeah. All right, let me exactly. see. Exactly. He's good looking. Hold on, he's hold on, on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Um, he's kind of tanned. How, how tall he's is stuck! he? Hold on a second. He's like 6'2". He, he, he's like 6'2", like or is six, he 6'2"? Six 6'2". Two? Because six like 6'2 six six sounds six one, more six like 6'1". 6'1", 6'2". All right. Um, okay, let me see. So he's he's tall. Um, he's kind of tanned. All right, you know he's got a nice nice body. All right, let me see. Face wise, all right, looks pretty serious. And uh, let me see the size shoes. Ew, you're uh, he doesn't look like he has big feet. Uh, well, he has I big feet. Well, from what I saw, he has big feet. Yeah, he has big feet. Yeah. So you were staring at his feet. Um, by the way, for anyone that wants to know me, I'm attracted to hands, and I definitely do look at your size of your shoe. So you are already looking at his feet, imagining how big his package is. I, I'm, that's just normal for me. That's no, 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 but bat. why are you looking at his feet, though? I, that's just, I'm telling you, it's a natural Get thing Get out of here. Me. You're looking at his okay, feet Okay, you're attracted to him at this point. No, I'm, I, well, listen, I'm, I'm just trying to see if he has a chance with you. I'm just saying, like... Um, Does, is he a good-looking dude, though? Yeah, he's a good-looking okay. guy. I'm, I just want to know, like, why you why you won't sleep with him? His feet are too small? His feet are not small. He's got big feet. I don't think about sleeping with anyone. But but I'm saying he has big feet. Yeah. He, he, look at that. With well, that you're enthusiasm. Asking, yeah. And which gym does he uh, work out at? No, 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 no. We're not doing all that. Why not? You know, he does his own thing, personal and a uh, couple. Okay. Well, I'm just saying, if you're watching or listening... She definitely was staring at your feet, so and you already hands. know what and she was thinking. And your hands. Making. He has um, nice hands. Do yes. I have nice hands? Yeah, I, I like. Did you just? Did you just? <laughs> what the? <laughs> I said, do I have nice hands? And you said, yeah. Um, and I want you to know, I work with these hands. So uh, daddy's rough with these hands all day. Calm down. Okay, bring down a notch. Okay, <laughs> okay, you guys. Enough about personal training, because a girl needs to work out. You know. <laughs> I would get kicked out the gym if I did that. <laughs> wow. For those of you who are just listening, she looks like she was having an epilepsy. No, the thing is I'm not going to... He is no longer my personal trainer because he's trying to bone and I'm not doing it. Oh, okay. He's a rap. He, he's a, he's, he's a rap? A rap? Like, yeah, now I need a real personal trainer. <laughs> so now that he's a rap, so why don't you just give him a call? 
No, it's awkward. Well, he's not training you anymore. He, we never got to the training part. I just met him like a week ago. Well, I, I just think you need to you need to chill a little bit. You need to live a little bit. I mean, maybe that's why I'm always frustrated. I think so because I'm just not getting it. You know, I'm not doing. At your massage, you're not getting a happy ending. All right, there is none for women. Listen, you keep acting like I got a DB between my legs. What I'm just saying, maybe your personal trainer knows how to give massages and will give you a happy ending afterwards. And that smirk right there lets me know that you thought about it. Um, no, I'm laughing because <laughs> um, massage. Yeah, this fool talks about massages 24 seven. Your personal trainer. Yeah. So there you go. You know. He wants to give you that dick massage. Uh, I, I'm, I'm good. I'm in a, I'm in a situation. Are you still in that situation? Oh my God, Farah. Oh my God. And you know what? I believe in loyalty. So. Oh, get what loyalty to what? Uh, if you're in a situation, you stay loyal. To the situation? <sighs> Why don't you just make that guy your fucking dude? No, I don't. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> My God, <laughs> I don't know. It's a little, it's just a little fucked up situation. Well, look, well, I tell you, I tell you what is a messed up situation is that you're in a situation. On top of that, I'm you have other guys that are, huh? that are that are hitting you up, and you're saying no to Everyone them. Everyone keeps telling me I'm and joking. And then it's just kind of like, okay, well, what's going on? Maybe you're a nun. Are you a nun? I think. Do I'm you want to go to a one. monastery? I think I'm becoming one, guys. I swear to God, how I used to be and who I've become. Are you going to be in a monastery? You think so? Yeah. Yeah, huh? I mean, the way you're living your life, you might as well. Maybe I am sexually frustrated. But you know what? I, th I do think you have an addiction. Like, you're like food porn all day. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, that's the one thing that it looks... I'm already uh, thinking about what to eat when it, we it, leave here. It's like, that That always seems to be turning you on. Mm -hmm. By the way, I've been watching... Um, um, what's it called? Um, House of Dragon. Do you, did you watch... Not yet. You have not watched... Have you watched Game of Thrones? I think so. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. What is the last TV show you watched? Cobra Karate Kid. Okay. I'm going to pretend like that was You heard was it. Cool. You heard it. It was cool. It, you, go watch it. It's super I've watched dope. It. No, no, the new one with I've the new watched generation. It. Yes, yeah. I've watched I it. I love it. I've watched it. I like it. R really out of all the ones that are mm -hmm. out there? Uh-uh. My God, I watched um, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, by f I watched the, from the beginning to the end like three times or maybe four times. Mm. Three times for sure. Or, you know, maybe even four times. Or may actually maybe the fourth time I didn't finish it all the way through. But absolutely one of the best, best shows. And then now I'm watching um, House of Dr What are you smirking at? Just thinking. About who? Your personal trainer? No. What? That I'm probably sexually frustrated. I think so. Do you have any <laughs> toys? Yeah. Didn't I just tell you to tell your homeboy to bring them? <laughs> I, I told you I'm going to get you an 18 gauge You're ass disgusting. plug. Disgusting. <laughs> I'm going to get you an 18 inch ass plug. Literally, for my I was friend. just telling him before that we started filming. I was like, hey, you got a friend that makes toys, huh? Hmm. Yeah, I have a friend. He, um, shout out Cena. He um, it has Cena, a, we don't need to a, see a you. sex toy <laughs> manufacturing company. And, um, you know, he tells me about what are the best sellers and, you know, and, Tell uh, him to and shoot all a that. Few pieces. And uh, he has like these uh, torsos, right? So it's like a torso, like, w you know, with the, the bottom mm -hmm. half, obviously. It's like, you know, your thighs, like thighs up to the knees, probably maybe a little shorter, but it's like, you know, with the with the with an ass on it. And like he's like, that thing is like five hundred dollars or six hundred dollars. And he's like, that thing sells like cupcakes, like guys. be. I like cupcakes. You said food porn. <laughs> I love cupcakes. Wow. <laughs> Back to sex. What? Yeah. No, no. Yeah, yeah. And he sells those. And he's like, yeah, those things sell a lot. So I'm always like, it's time for you to try it. Uh, you know, I, I'm kind of curious about it, you know, as you should be if it's a top seller. Yeah. But then again, it's like, it, I don't know. Like, I, I, I imagine it says a no, cause lot. I imagine it. And I'm like, it's just going to be like this half torso. Like you just chop this human off. And it's just like <laughs> all it is is an is an ass, basically. Um Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, look, there's there's other sex toys like, you know, there's like the the the. the pocket yeah yeah, yeah flat yeah. flashlights kind of thing you know 
Um, but but you know, I'll be honest with you. Like you know, when I when I do date, because you know, Daddy is dating several different ladies right of now. Of course. And um, a couple of them are very big into sex toys, mm. you know. And uh, like I like to go shopping with them, you know, like to see kind of like. But you're not into that. Wait. To sex toys. Who said I'm not into it? I thought we talked about this. No. I thought you liked the whole natural. No, I mean, I, I yeah, but I mean, I don't like anything crazy. Like, <laughs> like what I said last time. I'm is wearing like, a I'm wearing a pocket vibrator so nobody could touch me. You know what's crazy is like there are these ones that you can like I- insert into yourself and they're connected yeah, it to like let's just say my phone and I can like from Buzz home. Buzz you everywhere. Yeah, exactly. You know, like that's crazy. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, I can appreciate some sex toys. Absolutely. I, like, I, nothing crazy. You know, I don't like it. Like I said, last time when we talked about it, I don't like crazy fetishes. You mm-hmm. know, like punch me in the face or like. Knock me the fuck out. Yeah, or like, you know, let's do some. No, 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 no. But like, yeah, but some of them, you, you know, you actually. Actually, you know what's pretty fun, uh, which I want to try next time, is like, you know, like adult games. Mm. You know, like you, whatever, like the card says I've you got to do, like, you know, things like that. But yeah, but like, you know, there's like these swings and, you know, all sorts of different um, vibrators. Some dominatrix stuff. Yeah, like uh, that stuff but a reasonable is way. cool, but I'm not into like, uh, I'm not into, you know, inflicting pain yeah. or getting pain done. You know, the crazy thing is like sometimes, you know, because daddy is a little bit big, right? So sometimes when like smaller women want to like date me or whatever, I don't know what it is, but they just feel like they can just beat the shit out of me. Bang you, know? you up on the chest? Yeah, and I'm just like, all right, relax a little bit, you know, because I can feel pain, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter how oh, tall I am. Or what. Yeah, exactly, thing. exactly. But, you know, but no, no, I'm, I'm all good with it, you know. But, like, that's also, like, a little bit of testing ground to see, like, what she likes because, mm-hmm. you know, if she suddenly, like, you know, pulls out, like, that big horse dildo, you know, like... What if a girl wanted to do you with the dildo? Oh, uh, pegging? Absolutely not. No. Mm. No. And I've been asked before. You know, like, it's like, hey, come on, let me put... I was like, no, 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 no. We, nothing gets close to my... Ain't no... My, my mud whistle. Nothing. You know, no. I don't like a finger close... You know, some, like, some gr- girls are like, let me massage your prostate, you know, like, it feels... Nah, listen... Nothing. Supposedly, that's like the biggest like orgasm I, spot. I, let me tell now. you something. I don't care if you see Jesus Christ Himself when you do that. Like if you get near my mud whistle, I, you're like d- I, you're not attracted I, anymore. It's, whoosh, like I'm done. Like for the like, it's just gonna be like okay. Well, we're we're gonna have to try again later. You know, I don't know. I just well, that's the first that he said try again later because normally he'd be like you got to go. Well, no, I'm, I'll be nice, you know, like, well, uh, I'll be nice. But it depend, depends on, you know, what she did is. or how, how far she went with it or whatnot. Yeah, but, like, again, that goes b- back to, like, craziness mm-hmm. to me. You know, I'm like, no, 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 I'm not into that. But, again, I go for the purpose of, like I said, I want to know how crazy she is. If she's right. suddenly, like, I want that 18-gauge ass plug, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's when I'm going to be like, uh, shove it. <laughs> All right, you know, or she's like, oh, I want the twenty-five inch, with you know, you glass know, horse, dildo put horse inside dick, me. You know, like, uh, okay, mm-hmm. that's a little scary. Yeah, so that's why. But like, you know, you you, you can Fluctuate. find out a lot. You can find out a lot when you go se- uh, sex Just toy so shopping. Just so you guys know, he would disown. Oh yeah, immediately. If as soon as you be like, I want that twenty-five, anything like twenty-five. Okay, baby. Um, listen, I'm gonna call you an Uber. I'll talk to you later. Disown. Disown. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you for hanging out with us for the last, I don't know, what is it, 40 minutes. Um, to the uh, personal trainer, go ahead, shoot your shot. Farah hey, is Jay. waiting. She's been staring at your feet all day. I'm in love. It won't happen. Uh, are you really? See, you're about to open up a whole can of worms right now. You're in love with your situation? Um... See, oh, look. Jesus Christ. I don't I don't even want to tune in next time. If yeah, you guys we're, we're, we're going to talk about it this. Literally so many people would tune in on that episode because everyone always wants to know about Farrah's love life. Well, I, I'm actually curious about <laughs> Farrah's love life now because I'm like, <laughs> damn. But yeah, anyways, I got guys, daddy sitting next to me. So, you know, I got. No love but life. you sitting what next to you? Daddy. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Anyways, guys, thank you again. Like, comment, share. Thank you, everybody on Apple. 
Spotify, Google, Amazon, everywhere else that you guys listen to us. Tune into my love life. We appreciate it. Tune in next time because we're definitely going to talk about Pharaoh's love life or the lack of it. Um, How sad. (laughs) Fuck. Anyways, guys, we love you guys. Thank you again. See you guys next week.